Greetings, everyone. I am Gus from the multidisciplinary scientific journal Knowledge Core, RC MultiCore. Today, we're going to talk about what are databases when uh, talking about scientific journals, because there's also databases in relation to programming. We're going to address the topic about which underpins the very fabric of the modern scientific uh, exploration and discovery, which are databases. These uh, organize uh, repositories of information uh, stored normally with digital data or metadata have changed the way we collect, manage, and utilize data across various uh, types of disciplines. We are going to talk about the importance, the significance of the databases in scientific research, exploring uh, multifaceted uh, roles and their profound impact on advancing knowledge. So let's first start off with understanding a little bit about the databases. In scientific community, databases represent uh, advance, advancements and developments in progress. Uh, at their core, databases are meticulously structured collections of information uh, designed in a way that they efficiently store, retrieve, and manipulate data. Um, they provide a systematic uh, framework for managing vast uh, quantities of uh, generated data through experiments, observations, simulations, and surveys. Uh, as we come to uh, a di the digital age, databases um, have emerged as in indispensable tools, which empowers researchers to navigate uh, complexities of data-driven research. Uh, think about a library where every book has its place on the shelf. You can easily find out what you need. Databases kind of work in a similar way, but they're not physical, they're all digital information. And they give us a smart way to keep track of a bunch of information, numbers, words, pictures, and more. This makes, um, makes it essential for scientists because um, they let us handle a big amounts of data without getting overwhelmed by this huge amount of data. And that's a little bit about uh, the definition of databases. And now we will continue with a little bit of the historical background of the databases. So let's take a little step back in the 1950s uh there was a person named eugene garfield who introduced the concept of citation indexing in which laid the foundation of the modern or digital databases he founded uh the institutes for scientific information isi which developed the science, the science citation index. Now, going to, into the 1960s, a time of transition from normally traditional paper-based systems to a digital realm, uh, we enter pioneers of electronic databases, paving the way that, uh, of what we know now. Uh, these early databases might have seemed uh, limited in scope, but um, what we didn't know is that they were, at the time, they were seeds that were waiting to be uh, nourished. And so they gave us a future, a better future in aspects of uh uh, disseminating information. 
and we have two, two of these main uh, databases that came out, the Chemical Abstract uh, Service, CAS, and Med Medline. Back in 1907, CAS emerged as a bibliographical database and took on uh, the monumental task of indexing and abstracting chemical literature. Going forward, fast forwarding a little bit, um, it stands um, as the tall, uh, it stands tall as the world's um, prominent um, indexing service uh, for all chemistry, for all that's related to chemistry. CAS uh, set the stage um, to a new era of information access, which we have to take note also uh, in 1966, there was the birth of, uh, which mar was marked, the birth of Medline, another electronic uh, marvel that we have. Think of it as a bibliographical uh, guardian or protector that indexes abstracts and medical literature. Today, it has grown into the world's one of the world's largest uh, databases of its kind. So, a true treasure trove of medical knowledge uh, at our fingertips because we have easy access to this database. And you might ask, why do databases matter? They're more than just um, storage or repositories of information. They are kind of like gateways of discovery. They enable uh, researchers, practitioners, and curious minds like you and myself to explore this vast um, expense that we're going through of knowledge with um, ease. Imagine a world without these databases. Uh, how can we search for scientific insights without uh, having headaches or uh, being able to easily um, get through this information? The stacks. Imagine like if you have a stacks of paper which was back then, you had a lot of information and you had to go through each uh, specific paper or each sheet of paper to be able to find information. Now with just one click, you can get this information easily and in an organized way. Uh, so thanks to these uh, digital wonders, uh, which are databases, I information is kind of at our back and call, empowering us to accelerate the research and make informed uh, decisions and push boundaries of what's possible. So there you have a little bit about how databases entered the science, uh, scientific stage in the 1960s, which changed uh, forever how we access and are able to interact with this uh, knowledge and information. And now going into a more contemporary uh, age, or well, the digital age, so it, it went through a great transformation. Uh, the internet and the digital technology made it easier uh, for us to share information or share, share knowledge. The online databases became big virtual libraries where we can keep information and make it um, more sustainable. This let researchers from all over the world get lots of knowledge quickly. Think of these databases like a huge online bookstore that or bookstores that changed how we learn from research the internet uh tech change how we find and use this information now we can read many articles from anywhere uh anytime without needing 
the traditional libraries uh, or having to go physically to a library. Uh, this helped researchers uh, reach uh, content faster, let more people join in. But since there was this great change, there's also the challenges that we have to be careful. Since there's so much information that we have uh, available, there are also uh, information sometimes that bring biases or uncredibility. So we have to be careful. And it, but uh, it also brings a lot of good information. The problem is just finding the right information and knowing what's true and now going to another factor which is how it impacted well it had a multifaceted impact actually uh, so let's talk a little bit about the impact that uh, databases had to our scientific uh, community uh, these uh, repositories uh, of ushered a revolutionary era, which uh, made it possible to form uh, the very foundation of research pursuits. For scholars, um, they stood out as an essential starting point, in, uh, which enabled uh, literature reviews and the exploration of established knowledge and with just a mere few clicks with just a few clicks we can access this information thanks to databases uh, researchers can survey uh, the vast uh, landscape of intellectual knowledge of their field and being able to identify uh, pivotal works uh, and detecting gaps that need first uh, further investigation. In this digital age, our challenge has evolved from searching information and navigating to the great quantity, the abundance of it. Uh, they offer a unique portal into development of the scientific thought throughout history, not just now by tracing the lineage of ideas and theories and methodologies uh, researchers were able to gain uh, un invaluable insights of uh, the these gradual advancements of knowledge the historical context act as a guiding compass which takes us steers us through the difficulties or the complexities of the prior, the complexes of the paradigm shifts and the fluidity of uh, scientific uh, trends. Researchers employ these databases to delve into existing research, uh, which are already available. And so they uh, are able to uh, develop more and discern areas that require attention uh, and they are able to unveil emerging trends within their area of expertise. Think of it as like a map, a map that leads you through uh, an intricate journey of scientific ideas which show how theories uh, have matured over time and the impact of the the databases uh they resonate um very profoundly with our scholarly pursuits they kind of serve as a bedrock of research they offer accessible gateway to which we have wisdom that is accumulated, which brings us to uh, the development of thought, uh, which becomes clear. As we move forward, uh, we have to appreciate uh, our, all the opportunities they provide, and we 
we had to continue to um, harness all this information so that we can develop uh, human knowledge. Empowering researchers. Uh, another thing is that databases can also help in empowering researchers and enhancing visibility so they're not merely only reservoirs of knowledge they are also powerful engines in which they propel scholarly communication so researchers regardless of their affiliations or geograph uh, geographical locations can amplify the reach of their work through these databases these platforms one of uh, of the things that helps a lot is, nowadays is the open access uh databases uh in particular uh they defy the traditional barriers in making research freely so everyone can stay connected and being available to anyone so that they have in that way they have more visibility this inclusivity makes it so the dissemination of law knowledge fosters a spirit of um, collaboration among researchers, policymakers, and practitioners. Think of database as a, a bridge uh, that connects uh, researchers worldwide, uh, that links each other. When someone publishes a paper, it's like sharing a story. Open access databases are like sharing that story with uh, everyone. Not just a select few who can afford to buy a book. This inclusivity boosts collaboration uh, amongst um, everyone that can get a reach to this information. Global network and collaborators. However, just transformative power of these databases extend beyond accessibility and visibility. They also catalyze uh, collaboration in, on a global scale. So scholars from diverse backgrounds and cultures can connect, uh, exchange insights, and pull resources to be able to tackle um, complex uh, challenges that transcend um, disciplinary boundaries this interconnectedness propels uh boundaries of innovations as richer uh, researchers coalesce around multidisciplinary projects with the potential to reshape our world imagine these databases kind of like uh, bustling markets of idea marketplaces of ideas uh, scholar from, scholars from different countries and disciplines set up their stalls, uh, exchange insights. It's like a global brainstorming session where experts from various uh, fields work together uh, to take on these challenges, uh, or complex challenges uh, like climate change or medical breakthroughs and assess the information so that we can develop further the scientific community. As we approach the future, it's important to recognize um, upcoming challenges and chances uh, which are happening already at the moment, but we still have more challenges to face. Uh, arti artificial intelligence, i.e. and machine learning are rapidly changing how we handle the scientific data and the metadata yet we must also address uh ethical issues like unbiased data re representation protection of intellectual intellectual property and also preventing algorithmic bias so we have to be very careful how we are we go on with future accomplishments imagine databases kind of like changing landscapes uh i.e 
is improving research sorting but we have to be careful with fairness and bias which are the worries that are happening at this moment i'm not going to get in too much of what's happening with uh the scientific uh community or scientific articles and journals in when talking about ie uh but there are a lot of discussions that you can find out on the web so the sum it up the story the scientist databases proves humanity uh is able to uh develop um in a very uh crucial way uh a journey from print in the indexes to digital behemoths that uh bridge time and space so that's just uh wonderful their historical significance uh and technological evolution and multidimensional impact uh underscore their pivotal role in advancing human knowledge as we navigate through uh everything i've been going through the land uh, these landscape of endless uh possibilities that can happen now and to the future we have to embrace the opportunities that these databases afford uh while being very careful and safeguarding uh ethical and collaborative foundations which they they rest so i would like to thank you guys for watching the video thank you for your kind attention your support should you have any questions you can reach out to us uh and contact us uh or leave your comments down below uh you can check out our content here on youtube there are the other videos some of the videos are in portuguese but we're working on making videos in english don't forget to follow us on twitter uh facebook and if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe uh, to our channel. Thank you very much.